Hi I Gadgers! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something new and different on my channel that I've never ever done. We are going to do a first impressions beauty haul. I am so excited about this. I have tons of new makeup to show you guys. Things that are older, some are new um, to the public um, and I'm just trying them out myself. I am so excited to show you guys my first impressions. They are my real first impressions. Most of these products I'm trying for the first time on camera. I tried one or two off camera um, but it's my first time trying it with a full look. So these are my real reactions and you will see everything and more in this video. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's either here, here, here. It's somewhere right down here. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You wanna be notified every time I upload because it is so many great things on my dad report and I don't want you to miss it because I'm looking out for you and your best interest because I care. I really do. So thank you all so much for watching this first impression video. Let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I don't have a new primer to show you all, but I knew I needed something because the foundation I'm going to use, I have seen plenty of reviews because it's not a new foundation, just new to me, but I know it is super duper matte, so. Okay, so I'm super excited to use this concealer. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. My shade is 410 in the concealer, not foundation. Um, I did get shade matched. And this is what worked best for me. So like I do with any other concealer, I'm just going to pop it on the lid and buff it out like normal. So there are no names on the palette, which sucks. So you guys can't really tell what I'm doing. But that's okay i'm going to start with this shade in the crease i'm taking on a really fluffy brush just so i can really disperse whoa whoa okay pigment okay pigment all right we are off to a pigmented start y'all Eye catchers, I applied to be a part of the Sephora squad, which is their influencer program. If you could please leave me a testimonial, the link is down below on why you love following I Davenport. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. On a smaller fluffy brush, I am taking this shade down at the bottom. I'm just going to take that a little bit lower. even smaller brush I'm going to take the really deep purple shade it's like a purpley brown almost like the color of my shirt hmm. I'm going to take that just in the outer V All right, I'm trying to dip lightly because I know that it seems to be a very pigmented palette and I don't want to get too much in there and then I'm going to keep this more in the outer V area and then lightly bring it into the inner corner and it's just going to really deepen up your crease. You guys are really close. You're singing to my soul. But any And just because I want to try out a lot of colors in this palette, I'm going to use this mustard yellow, which I think is so pretty. I'm just going to sweep that across the lid very lightly into the other colors and I'm gonna do this with my finger which I don't normally do but I think it would be nice I'm going to take the deeper bronze shade it's really pretty I'm just going to pop that right in the center of my lid so from this shade I do have a little bit of fallout that's why I wanted to do my foundation second um, but that's completely okay and I love it I love it mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and just wipe off any of the, um, any of the uh, glitter that's dropped. Okay, so now for the star of the show, um, I'm going to finally, finally, finally try the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I have heard raving reviews about this for I don't know how long now, um, so I'm finally going to try it. And I'm so excited. My shade is 440, which I didn't think it was that dark, but it is. Um, but it's more of a neutral undertone. So 
I did get color match while I was at Sephora so that I would get the right one. So I'm very excited to try this out. It comes with the pump, which we love, um, which I've seen a lot of reviews on this already. So I kind of know a little bit about it. I know people say it's very, very matte. Um, and I do have dry skin, so we will see how that works. It's more normal to dry, so we'll see. But just like I normally do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my sponge just like I would anything else. It showed up a little bit red on camera when I first saw it and I was like, uh-oh. Um, but no, especially as I'm looking at it in my mirror. Because in the Sephora lighting, it looked perfectly fine. It looked like my skin color. I'm going to add a few more pumps because I want it to be light because I don't really go super full coverage from my foundation. But I'm going to add just a few more. Okay, let me bring this palette down. Okay, yeah. So guys, you can see the real color now. Sorry, my palette was making it more orange than what it is. Um... So now that my palette is down out of my face, you can see the true color. It is a little bit more red than what I would go for. I need to go for something a little bit more neutral or golden, but I'm not mad at it. Now for the concealer, which I did use on my eyes, but I am excited to see how it will do on my face. Again, this is the shade 410, which is what... I match myself too. Um, I do like my concealer to be lighter than my foundation just so everything balances out. I would say this is a stiffer applicator but not in a way where you can't work with it. I would say this is one that I probably won't let dry down too long before I start blending it because I can see it just getting stuck in place after you let it dry too long. And I would say you have to work quick with this concealer. But overall, it's pretty good. And I like that Rihanna came out with concealer shades that are corresponding to your foundation. So if you do get the same shade color as your foundation, it is going to be just a little bit lighter. But it is meant to be that way because most people do wear their concealer lighter than their foundation. I just end up getting a color all the way lighter than my foundation color just because I like the highlighted look. But you can use the corresponding shade. It would just give you a kind of natural concealer as if you were going for a no makeup look that day. And it's still very pretty. Yeah, I like this. Really like this. I really like the concealer. A lot. A lot, a lot. Okay. So, I don't have any... I did have a new powder, but I don't know where it is. So, I'm just going to use my tried and true one. So, sorry about the powder. So I'm just going to use my Beauty Bakery Brown Flower Setting Powder. And just go over everywhere that I conceal very lightly because I don't think this needs a lot of powder to keep it in place okay and I can't believe we're like almost done with this y'all but I'll be rude I'll be moving and grooving I don't have time I don't have time to play so for blush and bronzer I'm going to try something different because you know I like to use blush as a bronzer sometimes so I'm going to use this shade called currently which is like you can see it's reddish orange from Colourpop and you can buy them in a compact or in the just the pan and I bought this just the pan because I do have a little palette I can put it in so I am going to use this as my blush and my bronzer put a little bit on my apple Okay, and staying with ColourPop, because of why not, I'm going to finally try this out. I bought it so long ago, but I haven't used it. It is Pose from the Shayla X ColourPop Collection. It is her loose highlighter. Oh, that's so pretty. As Shayla would say, it's Metro Bowman. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. And it doesn't even feel like I have a lot on. But it gives me a nice glow. That is so pretty. Love it. Okay, so to finish this look up, we're going to go back to eyes because we are almost done. And you guys know I don't really do my brows much on camera, but my mom actually brought this to my house recently. And I was like, let me try that. And I was like, ooh, I love it. I was like, I'm going to try it out fully on camera. And it is the MAC 
eyebrow styler in spiked y'all it is beautiful and it's just enough color but not too much so first I'll go through a brush and I did get some comments about uh, doing a full brow routine so maybe I'll film that later see you can already see the difference from this eye to this eye and I have pretty full brows but just a little bit of extra color helps I've been wanting to try this primer out and I'm so excited it is the Lancome Seal Booster XL and I've heard nothing but great things about it it is vitamin infused and I got the little mini one from Sephora because if I like it then I'll get the bigger one but I've heard nothing but good things about this so I'm going to coat my real lashes I'm not adding falsies I don't have any new falsies to show okay and I'm gonna let that dry down for about 30 seconds and while it's drying down I'm going to finish up my lower lash line I'm going to mix the purple these two shades So we are really close and personal guys and for and for mascara I'm super super excited I am trying out the ColourPop BFF mascara y'all I was so pumped when ColourPop launched that they were having mascaras they launched them in like a million different colors there's a red a blue a pink a yellow like there are so many good colors um, but of course I just got the traditional black because I had to try it out in what I would normally wear and it's just going to be great, I hope. It's nice, but I would say the brush is super stiff and doesn't really move. And it's like, it's black, but it's not as dark as I would want it. So, eh, it's okay. So now I'm back out a little bit. And for lips, so I'm going to try out a different combo. I have worn all these lips before because I don't have a new one. Um, but I'm going to try out a different combo. I'm going to do more of a brown. So that was ColourPop BFF3. This is ColourPop Hitty Ways. And then this is Beauty Bakery Salted Caramel Mocha. And I'm going to set it all in place. Okay, eye catchers, and this is the final look. I love almost everything. Um, love the foundation. I thought it was too red, but it's perfect color. Love it so much. I think I can even wear it in the summer. Um, so love the foundation. Love the concealer. Pick them up there at Sephora. You gotta try them. Um, the blush was great. I love them. That can be a multi-use product. So the blush as a bronzer and as a blush, amazing. Love the blush. Um, love the eyeshadow palette. It's a great little travel palette. The mascara. It's nice. I mean, it's inexpensive. It's seven dollars. Wonderfully priced. Um, but can you get something better at the drugstore? Yeah. Sorry, my L'Oreal one is still unmatched from the ColourPop. Sorry. Um, Too Faced Better Than Sex is really good as well if you're looking for a higher end one. But it's nice. I like the primer. I think the primer really coated my lashes and separated them. So I really like the primer. Definitely think that's worth using and it's got vitamins in it. So anything to nourish and grow my lashes, I'm all for it. The highlighter is booming. No words to be said about that. It's completely booming. Love, love, love the eyebrow pencil. It's just subtle enough for me because my eyebrows can get dark very fast. So it's subtle enough for me. I really love that. And this lip combo. I'm here for it. I'm all the way here for it. This lip combo yes so that is it those are my final thoughts um let me know in the comments below if you liked any of the products i've tried if you tried them into yourself and they worked out for you just because some didn't work for me doesn't mean they won't work for you i'm still going to use them because i did buy everything with my money so i'm gonna get my money's worth no matter what thank you all so much for watching this first impressions beauty haul i hope that you all will subscribe below and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. You want to be a part of the eye-catching family because I have so much fun content coming your way. And I can't wait to see you in my next video.